Hi everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory, and then this week I'm going to show you how to paint the Storm Strike Chariot uh, in an easy, quick, three foot fabulous manner. So if you like this one, follow along. I'll catch you in a bit. First colour for the chariot will be Black Templar. Take your time getting in all the nooks and crannies. For the characters, the driver and the spearman, I've decided to go for a spearman instead of a um, archer. I just prefer the stats, but who knows, I think I'll get one of these into combat and we'll see if I need a second one. What that brings. So, all I'm going to do is with all the armour areas, same with the rest of my Army. It's black for plate armour and silver trim. So I'm going to do all the black, black areas. Okay, so the black armor's done. Doing half the helmet black up on the front of the helmet silver at the moment. A bit of a mess, but I've just chucked in the black. Next bit. For the chariot now, I'm starting to come in with a lead belcher and I'm just going to do all the metal parts. So the edges just going to be a bit neater this time. Silver trim, lead belcher on the armour. Plates, spear tip, face. For the Beast. I'm just going to paint it to start with uh, contrast ultra means blue just on the main body. Okay, next colour is Mephiston Red. I'm going to use it for the cloak. I'm also going to use it for his feathers as well. I got a bit carried away with my beasts and I put a bit of Yashanti bone for the beak and horns, grey for the feathers, and red for the saddle, claws of Shanty bone as well. All a bit of a mess at the moment, needs a bit of a tidy up, but the base coats are on. Next for the chariot, I'm just going to do a shade of Noel Noel and all the metal parts. Just going to give a good For the character, I'm also going to wash in non oil for all the metal parts. I'll just carry on across my model and I'll pick out the metal parts. I spend some time making sure that the other models have got their non oil wash. Now I'm coming in with Agrax Earthshade and I'm going to pick up all the other elements of the beasts. And 
And then I'm also using Adrat self shade in the folds of the red cloths. And the grip of the spear. And here's my heat and his helmet or the feathers or whatever you want to call it. What I've decided to do for my chariot is just dry brush lead belcher back on top. On the characters I'm also going to dry brush lead belcher back on just to get a bit of highlight on the weapons. For the black armour I'm just going to dry brush with a little bit of grey seal. some of the edges on the, on the black arm. Just doing a dry brush on the feathers. The skin, I'm going to go for a Calgar Blue dry brush. Coming in with my fist and red again. Just making the edges and the flat surfaces red, bright red again. Letting the Agrax surface shade do its job in the recesses. Trying not to make any mistakes. Being aware of the ones I do, so I can make those white again. Flat areas. The COVID in the system. The last bit I'm going to do for painting wise on the figures is an edge highlight using a Wild Rider Red. I just use a side of my brush. Tip just to pick out the rays that is a little bit of tidying up to do, but I've made some mistakes. Three foot fabulous battle ready is what I'm aiming for. All right, there you go, fully assembled, put together. Quite pleased with it. Not too complicated to paint, better to do it in parts. Could have done with some bases for the figures, but to make it a little bit easier. But I ran out of blue tack, I couldn't find it, so I think do it a different way at that point. Um, base, all I did was sterling mud, a couple of foam rocks, and a bit of flocking. And pretty cool, quite pleased with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next week.